All right, you ready? Yes, sir. 20 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 married men, on a scale of 1 to 10, how annoying is your mother-in-law? 8. Name a word that rhymes with chili. Billy. Name the worst thing to be out of order at work. Pass. Name something you see flying in the sky. A plane. Name a color of a baby's room. Pink. Name the worst thing to be out of order at work. Uh, the copier. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go, baby. I'm with you, Travis. We ask 100 married men on a scale of 1 to 10, how annoying is your mother-in-law? You said... 8, survey said... Yeah. Name a word that rhymed with chili. You said... Billy. Survey said... <laughs> Name the worst thing to be out of order at work. You said... <laughs> Copier. Survey said... <laughs> Name something you see flying in the sky. You said... <laughs> Airplane. Survey said... Yeah. <laughs> Name a color of a baby's room. You said... <laughs> Blue. Pink. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's... I just wanted it to be that. Survey said. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Come on, Mike. Let's go. We got a shot. Mike, we got a shot. Okay. Your son got you a little bit better than halfway there. He got you 106. Oh, great. You need great. 94 to win. Way to go, Travis. Come on, man. You got to focus from you. You focus, we can do it. Okay, sir. All right? Yes, Come on, man. You're a military man. You don't crack under pressure. Let's go. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. Uh -huh. I'm going to say try again. You got to give me another answer. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so we'll give you 25 seconds. You ready? Yes, sir. All right. Let's remind everybody Travis answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Mike. We asked 100 married men on a scale of 1 to 10, how annoying is your mother-in-law? Five. Name a word that rhymes with chili. Willie. Name the worst thing to be out of order at work. The uh, computer. Name something you see flying in the sky. Airplane. <laughs> Try again. Uh, pass. Name a color of a baby's room. Blue. Name something you see flying in the sky. Bird. We need 94 points. Let's go. We asked 100 married men on a scale of 1 to 10, how annoying is your mother-in-law? You said... Five. So they said... <laughs> one. One was the number one answer. <laughs> well, they asked the married man, the wife was standing there. So. <laughs> we need 81 points. Name a word that rhymes with chili. You said... <laughs> Willie. Survey so said... Yeah. Willie was the number one answer. We're 49 points away. Name the worst thing to be out of order at work. You said... <laughs> computer. Survey said... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bathroom toilet was number one. We're 28 points away from the money. Name something you see flying in the sky. And you said... <laughs> bird. Survey said... <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yes, sir. 20 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 men, tell me the worst thing to be wearing one size too tight. Underwear. Name someone who rarely compliments you. My children. Tell the age, tell the age when kids stop being afraid of the dark. Nine. Name something that's between your cheeks. My mouth. Fill in the blank. April blank. Fools. Come on, man. No, no, you all right. That's all right, man. 
Yeah, we, we in this together, man. Right. We asked 100 men, tell me the worst thing to be wearing one size too tight. You said... Underwear survey said... Yeah! Wow. Yeah. Name someone who rarely compliments you. You said... Your kids, them ungrateful. <laughs> survey said... Yeah. Tell me the age when kids stop being afraid of the dark. You said... Nine, survey said... <laughs> Name something that's between your cheeks. You said... <laughs> you, your mouth. <laughs> survey said... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fill in the blank. April blank. You said... <laughs> April fool, survey said... Yeah. yeah. Chris, how much you think Ben got, Chris? 154. A little bit too happy. Oh. 150. <laughs> That's pretty good. Took all my good answers then. Yeah, you need some, you need 50 points to win. You ready? Sounds good. All right, good. let's remind everybody Ben's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Come on, Chris. We asked 100 men, tell me the worst thing to be wearing one size too tight. Your pants. Name someone who rarely compliments you. Uh, my wife. Tell, tell the age when kids stop being afraid of the dark. Uh, six. Name something that's between your cheeks. My tongue. Fill in the blank. April blank. Rain. All right, big fella, let's go. All we right. need 50 points. We asked 100 men, tell me the worst thing to be wearing one size too tight. And you said, <laughs> your pants, survey said. <laughs> underwear, underwear was number one. Uh, number one, there we go. Name someone who rarely compliments you. You said, <laughs> your wife, A survey said. And mate was number one. You two points away from twenty thousand dollars. Tell me the age when kids stop being afraid of the dark. You said six. The survey said. <laughs> Ten. Ten was the number one answer. Mouth and lip was the number one answer. April showers was the number one answer. Well, that's a two-day total. $40,000. And they're coming right back on the feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. You ready? I'm ready. All right, 20 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 men how many women have you kissed romantically in your life? Fifteen. Name a word that rhymes with lung. Sung. Name something a guy would make himself for dinner. Frozen meal. Besides money, name something you wish for almost every day. Uh, pass. Who does Mickey Mouse hang out with? Donald Duck. Besides money, name something you wish you could do, wish for almost every day. Bigger house. Well, I'll stand on that one. You got to win. All right, let's go. We asked 100 men, how many women have you kissed romantically in your life? You said... 15. Come on, player. Survey said... <laughs> Name a word that rhymes with lung. You said... Sung. Survey said... Good job. There you go. Good job. Name something a guy would make himself for dinner. You said... Frozen meal. Survey said... Besides money, name something you wish for almost every day. You said, I just want a bigger house. Survey said, okay. Who does Mickey Mouse hang out with? You said, Donald Duck. Survey said, 
We got to put in a little bit of work right now. We got to get your thinking cap on. Got it. This is doable. It could be one of the great comebacks of our time. <laughs> Erica got 53. You need okay. 147. Okay. But I'm telling you, this is still doable. Okay. All right. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so we'll give you 25 seconds. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's remind everybody of Erica's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 men... How many women have you kissed romantically in your life? Five. Name a word that rhymes with lung. Hung. Name something a guy would make himself for dinner. Uh, peanut butter and jelly. Besides money, name something you wish for almost every day. Happiness. Who does Mickey Mouse hang out with? Donald Duck. Try again. Uh, Minnie Mouse. All right, let's see what we got, buddy. We asked 100 men, how many women have you kissed romantically in your life? You said five. Survey said. Well, my wife's in the audience. Yeah, and somebody's wives were with them when they asked this question because <laughs> the number one answer is two. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Name a word that rhymes with long. You said hung. Survey said yeah. yeah. Hung. Hung was the number one answer. We need 115. Name something a guy would make himself for dinner. You said peanut butter and jelly. Survey said boom. That's right. Sandwich. Sandwich was the number one answer. Besides money, name something you wish for almost every day. You said Happiness, survey said. Good health. Good health was number one. 82 points away. Who does Mickey Mouse hang out with? You said. That's Minnie Mouse. A survey said. Boy. Boy. One more up there. Could have got that. Minnie Mouse was the number one answer. Well, find out the point. Folks, they got a three-day total of 40895 bucks, and they're coming right back on Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. 20, 20 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. If you ask what... If you asked 100 women what do men want, how many of those 100 women would answer sex? 100. Name a job at the airport. Uh, uh, baggage. Besides pets, name an animal people see in their yard. Uh, kids. Name something that comes in pairs. Uh, pass. Name something people say before they go to bed. Good night. Name something comes in pairs. Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. You be honest. We got it. Chris is right. good. If you ask 100 women what do men want, how many of those 100 women would answer sex? You said, all of them. <laughs> you survey said, you better believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Name a job at the airport. You said, baggage. Survey said, yeah. <laughs> Besides pets, Besides pets, name an animal <laughs> people see in their yard. You said, them damn kids. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Survey said, oh. name something that comes in pairs. I think you passed on yeah, that. Yeah, I passed on that one. And then name something people say before they go to bed. You said, good night. Good night. Survey said, oh, yeah. 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 Chris, now listen to me. We got a shot. Okay. Travis got you 110. Okay. You need 90. All right. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everybody of Travis' answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Chris. If you ask 100 women, what do men want? How many of those 100 women 
would answer sex? Uh, 75%. Name a job at the airport. Uh, baggage claim. Try again. Uh, pets. Besides pets, name an animal people see in their yard. Dog. Oh. Besides pet. Uh, pass. Name something that comes in pairs. Uh, boobs. Name something people say before they go to bed. Good night. Mm -hmm. Try again. I love you. Name a job at the airport. I blew that one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 100 women, what do men want? How many of those 100 women would answer sex? You said 75, survey said. 100 was the number one answer. Name a job at the airport. You said security and TSA, number one. Besides pets, name an animal people see in their yard. Squirrel. Squirrel was the number one answer. Name something that comes in pairs. You hey. said... <laughs> you said boobs. All right, Chris. <laughs> Survey said... <laughs> Socks. Socks was the number one answer. Name something people say before they go to bed. You said... I love you. Survey said... <laughs> Good night was the number one answer. Good night was the number one answer. Five dollars point six hundred thirty bucks for hey folks. They got a four day total, forty one thousand five hundred twenty five bucks. And remember, the Gaines family is coming back to play for a chance and driving out of here in a brand new car. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. One answer left, Erica. If it's there. Your family wins the game. You, young lady, have yourself a brand new car. Fill in the blank. Please don't pull my what? Leg. Yeah. This is for the car and the win. Leg! Yeah. Oh, Some money, man. That was one of the meant to be situations. We'll be right back. We're gonna play fast money right after this. They got a brand new car. Hey. All right, you ready? You ready? 20 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. We asked 100 women, name a breed of dog that as sloppy a kisser as some guys you know. Bulldog. How many hours a day do you spend online? Five. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. Farming. Name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. Uh, movies. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. Fireman. All right, let's see. We ask 100 women, name a breed of dog that's as sloppy a kisser as some guys you know. You said, that bulldog survey said. How many hours a day do you spend online? You said, five. Survey said. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. You said, we need you to be more specific, so listen to me closely. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. Pulling vegetables. A pulling vegetables, survey said. Okay. Oh. Name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. You said. Movie, survey said. <laughs> Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. You said. That fireman, survey said. All right, we're right. Go. Go. Okay, Ben, listen to me. Yes, sir. This is doable. Yes, sir. Erica got 68. That's good. You need 132. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's remind everybody of Erica's answer. 25 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 women, name a breed of dog that's as sloppy a kisser 
as some guys you know. St. Bernard. How many hours a day do you spend online? Four. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. Um, driving a tractor. G name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. Um, the supermarket. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. Uh, military. Come on, let's take a shot at it. Oh, we ask, you need 132, we gotta go big. Let's go, we ask 100 women. Name a breed of dog that's a sloppy or kisser. And some guys, you know, you said, St. Bernard, survey said. Yeah. St. Bernard was the number one answer. Good job, good. How many hours a day do you spend online? You said four. Survey said three. Three was the number one answer. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. You said driving a tractor. Survey said. Getting up early and plowing, tied uh, for the top. Early. 63 points away. Name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. You said <laughs> supermarket. Survey said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Park. The park, park yeah. was the number one answer. We need a big one. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. You said? Military. Survey said? Family feed.